Hello guys, this is Mitchell from Tech Chefs. Um, if you're watching this on my channel, it's Monkey Man Mitchell. Um, but if you are watching this on Tech Chefs channel, a link to my channel will probably be in the description. So check that out. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you guys how to hack your Wii with a system with a simple thing called Letter Bomb. Um, what that allows you to do is you send yourself like a mail in the Wii message board, um, and it has all the hack me files with it and it allows you to hack your week. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that and it's pretty simple. Alright so let's go back to my Wii and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright guys what you want to do is turn on your Wii obviously and um alright mine may look a little different but that's because it has been previously hacked but it'll still work. It, it doesn't matter if you just hacked. It doesn't have to be. Like, like I said this is a hack. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your settings and you want to go to um, Wii settings and check your menu version. Make sure it is version 4.3U otherwise this will not work. It could be 4.3E if you're in Europe or 4.3J if you're in Japan. But um, make sure if you're in the US like me make sure it's 4.3U. Also what you want to do is you're going to want to go to um, your find your Mac address and I believe you do that by going to your internet and you go to console and in, yeah console information and you get your Mac address after you're done with that you're going to want to type in your Mac address I have already done that and you're gonna want to make sure you have 4.3 U clicked if you're in the US if you're in Europe 4.3 E and so on but you gotta make sure if you don't, you get the wrong one, you can f*** up your week. Oops. And then you want to type in your little security code. I'm just going to type it in again. T-O-K-S-O-N-V-A-L-E-N-C-Y. It'll be different every time, but if you're stupid, you may not know that. Just kidding. Alright, so click one of these, cut the red wire or the blue wire, and you will get a file like this. It says letter bomb, as you can see. Alright. So just click, cut the red wire, and it should download. All right, see, it's asking, but that's because I've already typed it in. So you should get letter bomb right here. So what you want to do is you want to stick your SD card in. It at least has to be two gigabytes. Remember that, two gigs. And um, mine's eight, but if it says that, just click continue, and you want to open your folder just to let you view files. You can see. It, um, your computer may not do this. If it doesn't do it, just go to computer and go to SD card. It'll take you to the same folder. So, all right. Well, we have our SD card open, and you want to go to downloads folders, right? Once you go to downloads, you want to find Letter Bomb, which is right there. Open it and take all this. And put it right in there in your SD card. Alright, now that you have that, we have Letter Bomb and the rest you do on your Wii with your SD card. So, you guys are going to want to go to here and look for Letter Bomb. Should be right there. Alright, so it should find it. Alright, so you're going to want to wait. Alright, if you hear anything in the background, it's it's raining at my house, so I apologize. Alright, so you go. When should come up right about now. Hold on. Oh yeah, alright. Press 1 to continue. Alright, so you're going to want to click continue and install the Humber channel. So it's going to install the Humber channel for you. And going to say success. And then you want to go to boot me. And you want to go install boot me as iOS. And click yes and continue. Alright. Alright. So it should continue. And you click prepare SD card. I've already done this, but you just want to click it and it's going to say success. You're all good. So you can just click yes, continue. 
Success. All right, so return to the main menu. Exit. Done exiting. All right, so you want to go to the homebrew channel and press the home button right here on your Wii remote and click launch boot me. My V's being, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna wanna launch boot me and this requires you to use your Wii as the controller. You can no longer use the Wii remote, nada, it won't work. You're gonna wanna have to use the Wii as your controller. And that's pretty simple. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press power until you get to the SD card. Or no, you're gonna have to press power until you get to the settings. And then press reset. Once you press reset, you're gonna wanna go to, you're gonna wanna click the first thing with reset. And it's going to back up your Wii. You wanna do this. That way, in case your Wii bricks, you can fix it. It'll take about 20 minutes and It'll take about 20 minutes to back up, but once it's backed up, you know you're safe. So now that you got that, you're going to want to press power again until you get to that back button, until you get to the back button. And then you're going to want to press reset. Alright, so you can just go back to the Wii menu. And congratulations, you have successfully installed the Homebrew channel. You can now hack it, as I have already done. You can do whatever you want, install themes. I wouldn't suggest installing themes unless you know what you're doing. Because that is very risky business. Going into system files and shit. Risky, risky. But you can install different channels. But like I said, installing different channels, like third party channels and stuff, is risky. You can also. But I would just download apps, which you can find on wehacks.com or um, webrew.org. You can find a bunch of hacks, um, apps. And I'll show you how to um, make, put apps on your Wii. Alright guys, so now that you have successfully backed up your Wii, you want to go to make sure your SD card is in your computer. Go to computer, open up your SD card, and um, these two files, you want to take them off your SD card. You'll find two files called keys and NAND. Take them off your SD card, put them on your computer, because you don't want to be clogging up space on your SD card. So open up a browser like Google Chrome or something. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is make a folder called apps. If you don't know how to do that, we can do that right now. Folder, apps, yeah, or whatever. You want to make a folder named apps, like this one right here. That Schmexy folder. And then you're going to want to go to like WeBrew. And you can either click on the main page or applications, just go to applications if you want to get apps. Alright, and you're going to get a lot of apps like these, a bunch of stuff you can do. You can even, I mean, you can install like Linux, you can install Windows on your Wii even if you wanted to. But you can install something like Wii Radio, which allows you to um, listen to the radio on your Wii. So, for example, how about we just install the Homebrew Browser. Some of you may like this. It's a little old, but I mean, if you're bored and you got nothing else to do, I mean, trust me, if you want to learn more about your Wii, you can just Google stuff and you will find crap out the wazoo. Alright, that's an internet shortcut. Whoops. Uh, um, no. Um, you want to go to Homebrew Browser. Where is it? You can install a bunch of apps from here. Click on it. Let it load and click download. Alright, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Open up your apps folder while you. Make sure you got your apps folder open. Once the homebrew browser downloads, you want to open it and click homebrew browser. If it has a bunch of files like boot, dole, icon, stuff like that you just install it so just take the homebrew browser thing each time you download an app will be different it could say apps right here and then you would have to go and get your homebrew browser but it's simple so now you got the homebrew browser you wanna 
go back to your SD card and click eject open your SD card and that is how you install apps plug in your Wii I'm pretty sure you just go to the homebrew channel and you can click on whatever app you decide to install keep in mind though you never know what they're going to do you could install some app for like code hacking games and it could be something that can completely screw up your Wii um, I wouldn't recommend installing like channels and um, like what they're called wads I wouldn't recommend installing wads or themes until you absolutely know what you're doing R remember that I am not responsible if you bricked your Wii in the process of doing this that is your fault tons of people have done this before without bricking their Wii I am not responsible if you messed up your Wii while trying to hack it but this is Mitchell from Tech Chefs or Monkey Man Mitchell link in the doobly-doo